Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on YouTube, working again with Power Automate. This time, what we're gonna check out is how we can count attachments that come into our inbox using Office 365 Outlook. So here we are just getting started with a flow using Microsoft's Power Automate here in the cloud. What I have set up thus far is my trigger that's going to monitor my inbox and then when it's going to run is when I make sure I have attachments. So one of the things you want to enable is to show your advanced options here and set up to make sure that you do include attachments and to make sure in this case, I'm gonna say only with attachments because the purpose of this flow is to go ahead and count those attachments. Now, the next step that I have in here as well is I've just added in a subject filter to this to make sure that it's only gonna run for specific emails that I get based on that subject filter. You can do that by adding it, you know, a filter from who it's from or anything else. But in this case, I'm just gonna go with the basic subject filter. And then what I've done was added in a variable. Now working with variables here in Power Automate, it's really important to make sure that you are naming your variables properly so you can let yourself know later on what exactly that variable is intended on doing and how we are gonna use it later on. In this case, the variable that I have initialized here is called attachment count. I'm gonna use that because I'm gonna to try to count the attachments that I have coming in for each email. So you can see here that my type is of an integer and we're starting off with a value of zero, which means that we are starting with no attachments and we're gonna count from there up one each time in order to see how many attachments we actually have. Now the next step here is to go ahead and get all of the attachments in order to count them with our, our flow here. So the next step I'm gonna add in here is an action from Office 365 Outlook called a get attachment. I'm gonna use this in order to make sure that I can actually capture all the attachments. Yes, we do have the dynamic content from when an email arrives to look at the attachments, but this is gonna be a little bit better if I want to add this in to say, you know, maybe a SharePoint site or into an Excel document or a Dataverse table. If I wanna add in any information, including that attachment, by using get attachments, it's gonna be the best way in order to actually see the full data of that attachment. So if, when we choose get attachment, we're gonna go ahead and use our dynamic content here. And the message ID will be the ID coming from our email. There's our message ID. And the attachment ID will be our attachment ID as well. So if I just search for attachment, we're gonna use attachments attachment ID. And the reason why we're using this one is because we wanna make sure we pull in all of the different attachments, whether or not I have one or seven or a thousand, whatever it might be, I want to get the ID for each and every one of those. And notice the moment that I click on attachments attachment ID, we are gonna get an apply to each or a for each loop here added in with Power Automate in the cloud because we can have multiple attachments here that we are gonna iterate over and count. So that's kind of the purpose here. Now, when we have this, we're actually gonna use this loop to our advantage in order to count all the attachments because the way this apply to each will work is for each attachment, we are gonna apply the series of steps, this logic to it. Well, that means every attachment gets its very own loop. So if I come in here and wanna count the loops, that's gonna let me know how many attachments I have. So here to count the loops, what we can use is another variable, not initialized variable, but this time use our variable for increment variable, which will add a value to each loop that we have here. So we're gonna go ahead and choose our attachment count variable, and we're gonna enter a value of one Every time it loops, we want to count that attachment or count that loop and essentially count the attachments with it. Okay, so that's our first step here. So it allows us to be able to see all of the attachments that we have that we're bringing in in order to count them each time. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and test this flow, save and test it to see if we can get that accurate count. They, this variable will tell us that accurate count. And then afterwards, why don't we just go ahead and add this to a SharePoint list just for some further verification. So I've saved it, I'm gonna test it, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna send myself an email here, do this pretty quickly. I'm gonna have my subject filter, which is YouTube test. I'm going to make sure to include some attachments here and I'll just choose a couple of different items that I have in here. Let me remove this one. And let's see, I'll include one more and a PDF here. Okay, so we have these three. We're just gonna send it without any, anything, maybe just do a test here inside of the body that might just suffice and go ahead and send it. And I've just received that email, so I should be seeing the flow kick off any moment now. And let's take a look what we're getting. And here is our flow running. We have our variable initialized. We have our apply to each occurring, so it's now currently looping. And once this is complete, we'll be able to see how many attachments we have for that email. And already, as the flow finishes up here, I can open up our apply to each or for each loop. And we can see that we're showing one of three, which means our increment variable should say three here at the end after we've gone over three loops. And that's actually exactly what I have within that email that I've just sent out. And there we have one, two, three attachments. That's gonna be exactly what I'm expecting there. So that's allowing us to be able to count those attachments. And now what we can do is if we want to add this to say a SharePoint list that I have here, I can go ahead and then create an item each time we get a new email that will not only count the attachments, but also store the attachments on that list. So before we go ahead and apply to each here, I'm gonna go ahead and create an item in SharePoint. So I'll do that first. And then after we create the item, we're gonna go ahead and add our attachments to that item and also update that with the count. So I'll go ahead and pull into my lists here. We'll go ahead and, and add in those fields. So our name here, we'll go ahead and say, this is the from the subject. I'll put my subject and the attachment count. I'm not gonna add just yet because we haven't actually accounted them here. So what we could do is we could actually um, say that we wanna just create the item and then when we loop through, we can add each attachment to that item if we want as well. So I'm gonna add the create item first. Just gonna do a little bit extra steps here. And then within our apply to each, this is where we can come in here and choose to add our attachment to that item that we've created already. So add attachment. And then we can point to our SharePoint site and list once again. And I'll do that here. I'm gonna use the ID of the item that I've already created. We're gonna then add in the file name and file content from the get attachment site, uh, get attachment action here. So we'll go here and we'll come down and scroll for our dynamic content for the name of the attachment. The file content will be content bytes. So we can get the actual content here. There we go. That's gonna give us the exact info we want. And then finally, what we wanna do is update this item that we've created in SharePoint with the, uh, the count of our attachments using our variable. So then outside of the loop, we can come here, new step and do update item, which will allow us to then take that same item that we've created and added an attachment to, to add in the count there as well. What we wanna do is use this outside of the loop so then it doesn't actually rewrite to that SharePoint item every single time the loop happens. We just get that total count after the fact. So we'll come here and point to all of those again. And as we've done here, make sure I choose the right list there. Now we can go and find our attachments. Here's our ID, there it goes. And the only thing I wanna update is the attachment count. I do need to pass in the name again, make sure it 
it matches there. And that is exactly what we wanna have. So now if I go ahead and save this and run it once again, I'm gonna use the previous run to test. I'm gonna make sure that it does show up on our SharePoint list with three attachments as we saw in our just previous check there. So let's go ahead and hit test. And here comes our flow once again, initializing the variable. We've created the item already. We're now looking through our loop to add all the attachments to that item and count how many there are before we finally update that SharePoint item in order to see how many attachments that came in within that specific email that we are logging. So we are expecting it to be done any second now. Again, we should have three, there they are. Our flow has run successful. Let's take a look at SharePoint and here it is. I've now been able, let me zoom in on that, been able to capture, okay, who is it from? Here's my subject, there's the attachment count. Now if I select the specific item, you can see that we have all of the attachments here and I have all the data that I want to be able to work with. So if I select one, I'm actually going to be able to physically see that. There's our bootcamp that I have here that we work with Pragmatic Works. You could see all those attachments and be able to view, edit, download everything you want from there. So here, working with Power Automate, we're able to be able to look at all the emails that we are receiving through Office 365 Outlook, count those email attachments utilizing initialized variable and increment variable and a loop and then finally in the end result here just to have some verification some logging and storage write that all into a sharepoint list now we have a place to store those attachments for each email if i wanted to put that in a document library in either sharepoint into onedrive i could have done the exact same thing just by adding these attachments but now because it is a list item i can have the attachment count in there as well Thanks for joining me here once again in YouTube. P please make sure to stay tuned for future videos. Don't forget to drop a like and a comment down below if you have any questions. And stay tuned as we from Pragmatic Works continue to populate more content here on YouTube for you and helping you out with everything Microsoft.